guys, today's video is going to be a desk setup slash stationary organization video. It's been a while since my last setup slash organization video and I've accumulated a lot more stationary and just my desk has not been the cleanest and most organized. I didn't have time to organize it at all while I was in school but now that I'm on break I have more time and now I really want to change up my setup a little bit so it's more functional. A lot of things have changed. For example, I got a PC setup so basically most of my desk space has been taken by this PC setup so I gotta move all my stationery around just so it looks more cleaner and more organized because a lot of my stationery is just all over the place so yeah today I'm going to be doing that but before we get started I just wanted to give a quick shout out to today's sponsor Nord Green for sponsoring this video so Nordgreen is a Scandinavian watch brand based in Copenhagen, Denmark. These watches that they create on Nordgreen are designed by Jacob Wagner, who is a former lead designer at B&O and Hay. What I like about Nordgreen is that they heavily focus on sustainability as the watches that they create are ethically made in Danish-owned union certified factories. The packaging that they use is also eco-friendly as they are made up of upcycled plastics and FSC certified cartons and also consider carbon neutral transport. They believe that watches are the start of a story and with each watch that you purchase on Nordgreen, you have the unique ability to donate part of that purchase to different causes that means the most to you. So Nordgreen works with a bunch of NGOs such as Cool Earth, Pray Them, and Water for Good. Not only are you purchasing something that you will personally like and will fit your style and aesthetic, but it'll also do some good in the world as they do a lot of donating and helping different people around the world. What I like about Nordgreen as well is that the design of their watches are super timeless. They are simple and minimalistic and they also give you the freedom to have a little bit of customization because of the interchangeable straps. They offer a variety of colors and sizes and materials that you can change with just one watch. I personally got the Philosopher watch in rose gold and I also purchased a plain black strap to change it here and there if I'm feeling a different type of style and look. I absolutely love the watch that I received from Nordgreen and if you're interested in purchasing your own, use the code NOTES for a 15% discount on your Nordgreen order. Thank you again to Nordgreen for sponsoring this video and without further ado, let's just continue on. So the first thing that I'm probably going to start off with is my desk. As you can see, this is what my desk looks like. It's not terrible, okay? There is clean space, but I just feel like there's like little bits and pieces of stuff everywhere. For example, all these things and just all the stationery that I've been collecting over the past few months has just been sitting on my desk and I need to put them in a proper place. Also, I really want to change up the way this section looks because it's just not working for me anymore and I need to switch it up a little. So first, I'm probably going to take everything off my desk and we'll work our way up. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's just pray that this all works out and I figure something out by the end of this video. <laughs> So now it is empty and I'm going to start putting things back one at a time. I'm just going to play around with what type of layout I want for this part of my desk. So for my birthday, that was literally in August, so it's been ages, my mom bought this little dessert tower thing. We didn't end up using this, but she gave it to me to keep and I might as well try and figure out if I could use it somehow into my organization. I feel like I might use this for my washi tapes, just so my washi tapes are all in one place. I'll probably play around with that right now and see how it goes. Don't know what to do. You 
don't know what to do Take a little breath and push aside Tell me what I should be doing I don't know Baby, I love you, what to do I don't know Baby, I've been so afraid Can't control these feelings I've taken a toast of you Just a little will suffice So I can't survive Finally, baby, I I can be a fool for the little things Little things you do to get a hold of me Chocolate and roses on a Wednesday night This feels alright Baby, I love you so I don't know what to do You got me falling in, I owe it all to you Baby, I love you so I don't know what to do Take a little breath and push aside Tell me what I should be doing, I know Baby, I love you, what to do, I know Tell me what I should be doing, I know I know
up your phone, I need your attention. My girl so bad, we call her detention. I am so glad we moved beyond friendship. And your mama like me, look, I squared up with Cupid, told him find me. I saw your love, you shot my heart. I'm losing breath, it's getting dark. I think I might need CPR, baby, won't you tell me, do you love me like I do? Tell me what you're willing to prove, cause I ain't got nothing to lose. It's true that you mean the world to me, yeah. I travel around the globe, but I know that you're the only girl for me. And I gotta let you know that, yeah, baby, yeah. So this is what it currently looks like. I managed to move a lot of things, especially my washi tape. So my washi tapes used to be in these chocolate Ferrero Rocher boxes. And I've been recycling these containers for almost like two years now for my washi tapes. I guess change is good as well. I also have this other one. So yeah, I moved all my washi tapes from here and also this storage box into this dessert tray. I know it's not really for stationery, but literally you can use anything for anything. Come on. These boxes were for chocolate and I managed to use them for my washi tapes and they managed to hold up until now. I can also recycle this for something else as well. So this won't go to waste, but yeah, I managed to move my washi tapes and because this is so tall, I wanted to kind of make this section tall as well. I feel like it's fitting. I don't know. I might also put this little storage thing over here. I also want to get like a vase, 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 vase with like fake flowers to put in this corner because I want like a pop of color in this section, but I don't have that yet. So for now, this will do. And since I just have some extra little bits and pieces of stationery, I'll just put some over there. So I have some water coloring palettes. One of them is actually my boyfriend's. He left it here. So I'm just gonna put them over here for now. More stationery. I feel like it looks neat. I like it. So these are the leftover stationery items that I still have left to store away. So I'm just gonna quickly do that and probably also organize some of these things now because it's a mess now and I need to fix it up a little bit. So yeah, I'm just gonna quickly do that now. So love with eyes. I've been wondering how you're doing. I've been wondering how you're sleeping tonight. I've been missing you. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but it just started raining. It is really gloomy in my room, hence why I have 
the light on actually but yeah i managed to finish organizing my desk i just like how organized and clean it is right now so i'm just gonna give you guys a little desk tour so this is what my desk looks like right now i'll just quickly show you guys what i changed so over here as you can see i used to have my memo pads over here the smaller memo pads there but because the memo pads were able to fit in this small container in these square cube spaces i just decided to move my memo pads here and i just like how neat everything is and tidy also in terms of my trolley i'm not going to show the other parts of my trolley like below because it is a mess and it's not stationary related i'll just leave it as it is and probably organize it another time but for now i just left this section the same because it's just more convenient for me and i have no other space to put my zebra mild liners i put some tape and my glue tape over here i also put some stickers here on the side because these stickers are weirdly shaped and they don't fit in any of my sticker organizers so i'm just gonna leave it here on the side also i moved some of my markers around on this section so some brush pens are here and then some other highlighters and brush pens are here it seems a bit chaotic and I'm sorry if you can hear the rain outside it's raining really hard but it works for me and I kind of have a little system going on in my head and I know how to differentiate and I know where to find different things also I have this container of highlighters and brush pens and actually this was on my desk before but instead I just put it here to just save more space on my desk so everything is just nicely spaced out and not too cluttered my essentials I decided to put them into this pencil case so everything that I use in particular to journaling and my everyday planning yeah I used to put it in this small pencil case but I can't fit everything in this small pencil case so I decided to move everything here a quick pencil case tour I put my tweezers over here that I use for stickers black pen white gel pen essentials and I also have tumble dual tip brush pens here and other white pens other black pens that i use to write with and also mechanical pencils and all of that these are just my literal essentials that i use so yeah that is my essential pencil case and for now i'm just gonna keep it on top of this trolley over here and then moving on i also just left my journals over here because they are essential. I reach for them here and there, especially my planner, so need to keep this close. Here is my little dessert tower. So this was originally for desserts. However, since I don't really need it for any parties because there's not really anything going on during a pandemic, I'm going to be using this for my washi tapes. And it managed to fit all of the washi tapes that I originally had on my desk and plus more. I added all the washi tapes that I use or I love here on the bottom so I could reach them easily. And then more washi tapes here. And additionally, my thin washi tapes and my washi tape dispenser up here and a little plant. Maybe I'll put something here later on but I'm not sure. But yeah, moving on. I have this little tablet holder thing. I don't have it yet, but spoiler, I am getting an iPad soon. So I wanted a space where I could put my iPad and I'm sure I need more space than this, but I'll probably shift it a bit to the side more, but yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about the brown color of this. I wish it was a bit lighter, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it for now. Maybe I'll decorate it later, who knows, but I'll leave it here for now so that's for my iPad and then these are my photos that I use for my journal and planner so I do keep this near me this was here before and it's still here now because I still need it here and here are my memo pads as I said before they just fit here perfectly and also before I just had a bunch of random things in these organizers in the top like I had some accessories and just random things all over the place so instead I just decided to put my memo pads here and also kept my washi samples here in the back just so I could keep like all my washi tapes together I also put this little plushie here just to make it more cute I have my mini trash can over here so if I'm journaling or doing anything 
creative or just need a small trash bin near me this is what I use and I just put some plastic in it that I got with the bin to put all my rubbish and then I'll just clean it out every now and then I have my box of stickers here I also organized the stickers inside I took most of my stickers out of the plastics that they came in because I felt like it was taking a lot of space and it just wasn't clean in my opinion so I took them out. Don't worry, I will recycle the plastic that I took out. I just put all my stickers, organized them into my own system of categories so everything is neatly in its right place inside this little box. Over here is this storage box. This is just a last minute decision. I'm not sure if I'll keep it here, but for now I'm gonna keep my watercolor palette here. And this is also my little sticker draw. So this is just random miscellaneous stickers. This is K-pop stickers and this is my sticker flakes. I have a lot, so maybe need to upgrade my storage or organization in the future for this because it is piling up. And lastly, this is my memo sheet drawer. I didn't really I didn't really change much other than like organize it better or clean it or put it to the side so it looks cleaner. I just left it like this. But yeah, these are just my memo sheets and thankfully it fits perfectly between my tower and I could just open this easily. And to briefly just address, I am going to probably change my wall soon. I probably won't do it here or in today's video because I don't exactly know what to put there yet. I haven't really had the time to change this around, so I'm just gonna leave it as it is. And also the stuff at the back of my PC over there. But to give you a quick tour of my PC setup, which is not really complete yet because I don't really know how to make it look better i don't i'm not completely satisfied with it but for now this is what it looks like so this is a little insight of how my pc setup looks like so this is my tower it has led lights you can open this up so you can see inside and then on top i recently got these funko pops pop vinyls of bakugo todoroki su and also this pokeball that you can open and I just left it on top here because I don't have any more space. Yeah, so I will get rid of all of these later on in another video. So this is my 32 inch monitor. This is my desk top wallpaper. I have a little webcam over there. Also, I have all these little figurines and stuffed toys in the front of my monitor just to cover the cords that you can see in the back. I'm really bad with cord management so I'm trying my best to hide it and also have my switch there. I have a frame there of my boyfriend and I. And then I have a LED mouse pad that changes color. It looks better in the dark but yeah this is also my keyboard and mouse so this is my setup and this is just where i did school and also where i play games which is what i do 90 percent of the time i also have these razor headphones that i just keep here because i don't have a headphone stand and i don't have space to put that anywhere anyway so yeah there's that so that is pretty much it for today's video. So before the storm literally attacks me and starts making a lot of noise again, this is pretty much the end of this video and I'm just gonna end it here. I didn't really organize a whole ton but I still loved filming this video because now my desk is like all clean and everything and I haven't had this much organization since literally the last time i filmed this video in my opinion but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for nord green for sponsoring this video as well and if you guys are interested i have a discount code for 15 percent off if you want to get your own watch from nord green it is going to be here on the screen so use that discount code if you're interested it is really pretty i love the aesthetic of it and i also love that you can change the strap of it to fit different fits and outfits and just fit your mood for the day. I feel more sophisticated with a watch. Like I'm a true adult now because I have like a watch. I know, it's very stylish. Yeah, if you're interested, use my discount code. I will leave all of their links down below in the description. And yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Please take care of yourselves and I'll just see you later. Bye-bye. So I don't know what to do You got me falling and I owe it all to you Baby, I love you So I don't know what to do Take a